Hi, it's Derek again. Uh, uh, checking in. Uh, you ever get caught up in your head with negative thinking? Ever have a hard time getting rid of uh, the uh, stinking thinking? Uh, been stuck in the past, or you know, past uh, emotions from past abuse towards you from other people. Um, I used to I used to have the same issue. I used to uh, I still work on it today. Getting stuck up in my own head. Uh, I, I used to happen to me all the time. Um, it, it's really it, it's so important to know that we don't have to be stuck up in our own heads. That you know we can do anything we uh, put our minds to, especially be it when it comes to thinking what we want to think. Um, if we, uh, you know, concentrate on, you know, good things happening in life and stuff and, uh, you know, abundance and not worrying about financial issues and being successful yet in life, uh, you know, uh, it doesn't, uh, success doesn't come overnight and, uh, you know, you got to have uh, some patience and, what you know, the first thing that comes before success is uh, being content, being, uh, you know, comfortable inside your own body and uh, just, um, you know, feeling abundant, you know, uh, you know, when we're lost um, and we're not happy, we can't create um, att and attract, the, you know, abundance and wealth and all that other stuff. Before wealth comes, you know, uh, you know, uh, serenity of the mind, you know, uh, you know, you know, ha you know, happiness. You know, at least feeling comfortable in our own shoes, and not feeling like we um, don't belong or whatever. Because we all belong. We're all equal, and um, it's kind of a society trick that plays on us. You know, um, and if we get stuck in with the old emotions and thinking about it every day. Um, we're going to keep doing the same thing day after day and our life's going to be completely predictable and it's not going to, there was a recent poll that was taken that 88% of the world is not happy. 88%. Um, may have been 86, I don't know, but my point is, um, uh, you, anybody can get happy. It's all about how we think. It's all about how we uh, deal with others, too, that can bring us down. Um, I don't know if it's family members, loved ones, whatever. Um, if someone's negative and stuff, uh, stay away from them. Because I don't care if it's family, whoever it is. Because uh, it's they're going to mess your whole game up. I mean, I, I have it happen to me. I have loved ones, you know, uh, that I love, but, uh, I got to try to keep my distance somewhat because of negative vibes or, you know, or they're just not in a good place in life. Um, I always try to, if some, I always try to go back to my center of my own universe, of my mind. If someone, you know, throws me off my game and comes at me wrong, there's a lot of angry people out there. There's a lot of people that are not happy. Not everyone's willing to learn, um, uh, you know, new ways to manifest happiness. The reason why I am doing this is because there's a lot of a more awareness coming out right now about this. And I, I feel like people like me that have learned about it should share it. Because I was told to share it. You know, that that was the right thing to do. And it feels good to share it. Um, because I, th I feel that everyone should have the chance of happiness and the American dream, and that we need to stop judging ourselves uh, based on past experiences. We need to concentrate on the moment, concentrate on today, concentrate on tomorrow, um, and not concentrate on our regrets and our past. We all make mistakes. The, f the harder we fall, the more we go through, it has a way of coming back in turning into success if you can't go through if you don't go through hard times you don't know what it, uh, then you don't get to a hunger for success um, 
Me, um, I was down and out for many years until I came across uh, The Secret. It was a, uh, a movie on, um, on the laws of attraction. And that's what got me studying uh, mindfulness and just being aware of my thoughts and keeping and being aware of if you practice keeping when negative thoughts come in your head and you say to yourself, wait a minute, I don't want to I don't want to think about that. Um, that's, you know, and you you drop it from your mind like, you know, a passing guest. Um, you're going to feel abundant. You're going to feel better. You keep practicing that every day. Keep, try to keep the negative thoughts out of your mind. Try to stay focused and clarity in the moment and not thinking about negative things or negative people. Try to just stay focused. Try to just, you know, stay positive as can be because uh, life's hard and it's hard on, you know, no one, I haven't met anybody yet that has had an easy life and, but it's no competition, that's for sure. But uh, the truth is you need to know that you can do it, anybody can do it anybody can be happy um we just need to get up off the couch or whatever and stop you know uh and get out of the self the hardest thing to take to it was hard for me at first is getting out of the self-pity and feeling bad for ourselves and stuff because life happens and life ha stuff happens to us but if we take action and do positive things better things are going to happen for us and whatever you put your mind to you can succeed you know you know be you know a successful uh, person get successful with feeling more abundant and happy and more content in your own body and in less insecure and that will all come to you um, I'm at the Yarmouth boat yard with a landing uh, Yarmouth Maine um, I hope everyone has a good day please subscribe if you can my email is Derek Nickerson 34 at gmail.com I got the sunglasses on because I've been squinting in the videos from the sun. Uh, please excuse that, but have a great day, everyone. Try to find happiness in abundance. Try to stay positive. Bye.